Well, hi there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rocky Deer with Texas Bar TV, coming to you once again from the State Bar Annual Meeting 2016 here in beautiful Fort Worth, Texas. We got Mark the Unger Games Unger over here. And then we got... Dave Coker? Well, yeah, I know, I know Dave Coker. So let's talk for a second about the, the use of technology in a law practice. So let's, why don't you guys tell us kind of what kind of law you practice, what all you do, and then talk about how, how technology has, has changed your practice maybe. Okay. Uh, we, we specialize primarily in civil litigation, biz lit, privacy, um, things of that nature. We also help and assist law firms. So we'll second chair for law firms that have complex technology cases. They will call us up. We'll go in and help them. Uh, sometimes we'll be called in as an expert witness as opposed to an actual second chair. It just depends on the situation and the complexity of the technology issue they're dealing with. Uh, that's our primary driver for the business model. And so technology is you have to have it in your practice because it is your domain expertise. If I were to advise, um, when it comes to technology, the biggest risk I think people run is, is they don't select technology on get, based on getting the job done. And that leads to a lot of inefficiencies. So uh, when you're selecting technology or solutions, uh, don't lose sight of the ball. Okay, uh, the, the goal there is to solve a problem. It's not to make somebody happy. It's not to have the prettiest, you know, screen. It's to get the job done. And I think a lot of people lose sight of that when they're selecting technological solutions. So theoretically, could it ever be that low tech is better than high tech? Absolutely. In fact, I've, I've witnessed that firsthand in the courtroom where attorneys will rely too much on technology and haven't gone through and actually reviewed the evidence and seen what they're talking about. And that can burn you. Mm -hmm. And so you can become too, you can use it as a crutch, which could actually hurt you uh, in certain situations. People choose technology uh, in two ways primarily. One, they, they start to use something and they stay with what they initially start with a lot of times. That's why people go after market share so quickly in, in a space. Uh, the second thing is they use what's easy to use. If it's too hard, uh, it's a barrier to entry, uh, they're not going to use it. So sometimes that, uh, that how pretty it is or how well it works, it does have to GTD. It does have to get the job done. So in terms of getting things done and how do we use it or buy in, uh, we find the things that work for us that we like uh, and we stick with it and then we try new things to make it better. Um, and I think it's an incremental change. I think everybody has their own speed. Uh, and I would just say, you know, just do one thing a week or one thing a month even. Just try one new thing and come to come to these events. You know, David Coker, 60 apps for 60 minutes. Hands down, awesome job. Props to him. Rocky Deer has been great for years. But it's great to see both of you guys. Oh, always a pleasure to see you. And I hope you guys at home have enjoyed this and maybe got a little bit of food for thought. This is Rocky Deer signing off from Texas Bar TV. We'll see you next. We'll see you guys next time.